I received a comment from a viewer telling me that they could not find the app data for AnyRail in the location that I showed you in my previous video, which was video 43. Now this is my fault and I apologize. Now I too have followed directions from YouTube or an internet search and I failed to find the item I was looking for in the app data folder. So if you can't find the AnyRail info in the app data folder, it probably means for some reason it's hidden somewhere else on your computer. Now I'm running Windows 10, so what I'm going to show you here will apply to that version. So try doing this. Go down here and click on the Start menu. Now you should see this PC somewhere on this screen. Now if not, it should be on your main screen and be called My Computer. So go ahead and click on this PC. And this screen should pop up. Then go over here to Search My Computer and click on it. And then type in star period sudro, S-U-D-R-O, and hit enter. The display will change to this and it will start searching your computer for sudro files. And make sure you have all subfolders selected up here. And don't worry about any of these other settings. So sit back and wait because this may take a few minutes depending on how large your drives are and how much you have on them. Now hopefully in a few minutes files that contain the extension .sudro should start appearing. And when it's done searching, the green bar will disappear. And as you can see down here in the corner, I have 2,928 files that have the extension .sudro. So now you should be able to see the entire file path that will get you to where the sudro files are stored. And in this case, you can see right here that the file path is called C dot colon backslash users backslash wigfi backslash app data backslash local backslash any rail backslash udo repos 500 backslash ho. And if you scroll down a little bit like this, you'll notice that some of the file paths start with the name of the manufacturer, and in this case, it's absolute aspects. So in this case, the file path would be c colon backslash users backslash wigfi backslash app data backslash local backslash any rail backslash udo repos 500 backslash oo backslash absolute aspects. And then over here, you can see the file name with its dot sudro extension. Now, if this doesn't work, try running the search on your individual drives. And as you can see over here, I have two drives, a C drive and a D drive. Now, I first ran a test search on my whole computer, and it did not find any sudro files. Then I ran it on my C drive, and it did find the sudro files. Then I went back and I tested it again on the whole computer, and the second time around, it found the sudro files. And that's one of those go figures. Now, I also tried just searching for Udo Repos 500, and it did pop up with the location like this. And in this case, it found the Udo Repos 500 file folder, and then it told me what the location was. So if a search for .sudro files doesn't work, then try searching for the Udo Repos 500 folder. So now you can tell where that Udo Repos 500 folder is and what subfolders the objects are stored in. And if this still doesn't work for you, well, then my best advice is just go out and find an 8 to 10 year old to look at your computer. They usually know everything about them. So, okay, I hope this helps you out and I'll see you next time.